I'm Alex Carver, um, Northern Timbers Construction. We're in Panton, Vermont, and uh, on Lake Champlain. Beautiful. The house is 1,250 square feet. It's a 25 by 50 box, 11 foot ceilings. The walls are 15 inches deep. The R values are 50 in the walls and R80 in the roof. We built a house for Chris Corson and we designed it in, in the same way. This is a two by four wall and in there is R15 Roxel. And on the outside of that two by four wall is OSB, which is then taped with Vanna tape, uh, air sealed. And then we have uh, 11 and 7 8 TJI screwed to that. Solitex Mento on the outside of that also then taped, and that, that cavity is then dense packed with cellulose insulation. So that is the wall section here, which then goes up. On the top plate of this wall here is a piece of one by six pine, which comes into the building a little bit. It's taped with, an, with the Vanna tape on the outside of the building, OSB to one by six, comes in the building and then the Intello comes across and ties into that. So it's a continuous air barrier that goes right around the whole building. Up above us are uh, two foot open web trusses, which are also dense packed and to hold, the to hold that insulation in, we put Intello on the bottom surface of the, the trusses and dense packed the, the roof system. When we did the ceiling, first of all, we put the Intello, it stapled the Intello to the bottom side of all the floor joists, and then uh, strapped directly on each floor joist with three quarter inch strapping, and then went counter to that in perpendicular direction with an inch and a half strapping, which gave us a wire chase. These lights here were a fantastic solution, which uh, they just use a standard inch and a half box, which we put in the ceiling. These are made by Commercial Electric, they're an LED can look alike. They can be dimmed, said to last uh, 25 years. No heat loss going up into the, uh, into the cellulose. This is a, a look into the outside of the house. A first layer of three quarter inch strapping that goes on to hold the mento in place so it doesn't, we don't get cellulose behind, you know, crossing each TJI every two feet down the building. There's a vertical 11 and 7 8 TJI. <clears throat> it's actually a pretty handy chase. We're able to run our line sets for the mini splits right through here. And uh, what we do is we get two by six uh, spruce and rip them in half. And it's a really nice solid base. That way the fasteners, when we're fastening through this, don't come anywhere near going into the mento because we don't want to poke the mento full of any holes. There's ventilation down at the bottom comes through here and air can pass up and come out the top. So this is a, a beautiful vented rain screen on the outside of the building. There was some recent discussion at the um, uh, Efficiency Vermont show in Burlington about the uh, potential for moisture in the cellulose uh, with this wall construction and uh, this feels great really dry it certainly is nice to see that it's uh, very dry in there and no no moisture on the back surface of the mento which was there was some discussion about that and we're trying to allay those fears We've been monitoring electricity use as well as temperature. This is a sensor that senses temperature. These r record data through a, a program called uh, SightSage. It logs the data constantly. Uh, it's accessible online. So I, I look at it, a couple people from Efficiency Vermont are monitoring it, and the homeowners can, can look at it for security to know that their house is up to temperature in, in the uh, in the cold season. So that's been very valuable information to see how, how the house is performing. 
and around the corner is one of the controls for the Lunos fans. We have two pair. We have one in this bedroom and we have one in the living room. And in the back of the house there are, is one in, in, in the master bedroom and another in, in uh, there's one over here in the kitchen. This is the other side of the Lunos and what's great to see on a really cold day like this is that there's no uh, no ice, no moisture, no heavy moisture coming out of there. One of the great benefits of building a super insulated house is that you can get rid of the heat plant. We don't need a boiler. There's no radiant heat in the, in the floor. It would be too hot in here with that. So the amount of money, and it's often upwards of $25,000 for a heating system in a house, we put into extra insulation, vapor, air barrier, any work we do with uh, 475 products on the outside and inside with the Intello. To build the house to the passive standard is somewhere in the 5 to 8 percent range, which is easily a 10-year payback. Came up with a, uh, a, um, a very streamlined design that we felt that the mini splits would, would heat really efficiently. And um, so far it's been, been performing beautifully. Mm -hmm.